Is there a difference between a Christmas present and a paycheck? <laughs> you bet there is. That's what we're going to talk about in this episode 15 of Salvation and Discipleship. Is there a difference? If you've got your study guide, which you can get at simplybelief.com slash grow, go ahead and look at topic number 15. And you'll notice under salvation, it says eternal life. And under discipleship, it says eternal rewards. We're going to look at two different verses that illustrate the difference between these two ideas. But I think before we do that, we need to see how close they appear in the Bible. So here's the first verse that we're going to look at. And then here's the second verse, only a few verses apart. In fact, it's probably important to know that it's some of the very last words that we have recorded as God's inspired word. So, these two ideas and the distinction between them are very, very important. So first, let's take a look at Revelation 22, 17. And the Spirit and the Bride say, Come. And let him who hears say, Come. And let him who thirsts Come, whoever desires, let him take the water of life freely. Now, there's a couple of really important words in that statement. The first one that I want you to notice is the word freely. So this offer made by God is an offer that includes something for free. So the question is, what can we have for free? Well, it tells us right there. We don't have to guess. It says, whoever desires, let him take the water of life. So this free gift of the water of life is a metaphor, right? Well, we don't have to guess at what the metaphor means because Jesus told us in John chapter 4. Do you remember the story where Jesus is talking to a woman at the well and he tells her that she can have living water? So we see the parallel here. In that chapter, he was talking about the free gift of eternal life And here in Revelation 22, 17, clearly he's talking about the free gift of eternal life. So what we find is that eternal life is a free gift for all those who believe in Jesus. Let's imagine for a second that you're waiting for your paycheck at the end of a very busy month. Your boss comes to you with the envelope and says, here's your free gift. Would you have a problem with that? Well, I certainly would, because a paycheck is not a free gift. If it were a free gift, you should have been allowed to sit on your couch all month. But that's not what you did. You worked for it. So a paycheck is reward for your hard work. So a free gift and reward are not the same thing. So when you see the word reward in the Bible, it's important that you don't confuse that for the free gift of eternal life. It's actually something very different. To find out the difference, we're going to jump just a few verses before this and see what Jesus himself has to say about reward. This is Revelation 22:12. He says, And behold, I am coming quickly, and my reward is with me to give to everyone according to his work. Wow. So that is very different. Jesus is talking about the moment when he will return to the earth And he says that with him he has his reward. Now that is not a free gift. How do we know it's not a free gift? Because he tells us right here. He says, to give to everyone according to his work. So a reward is more like a paycheck than it is a Christmas present. And here Jesus says he's coming back to the earth with his reward to give to those according to their work. You can't get your salvation by doing good works, but you can have rewards in heaven, eternal rewards for good works. So your good works as a believer do matter because you will be rewarded for them. Now that you understand that the free gift of eternal life is different from the reward that you earn by doing good works, it may leave you with a question. What are those rewards? I was talking to a young man the other day and he said, you know, I feel a little conflicted about being motivated by rewards. Isn't that somewhat selfish? And I said, no, wait a minute. The rewards that Jesus gives are not me-centered. 
They're Christ-centered. And so when Jesus returns and sets up his kingdom, the rewards that he gives are going to all be about how close we are to him. So the one who is rewarded the most is going to be the closest to Christ. And in the kingdom, I can guarantee you that people are going to want to be close to Christ. And so those rewards are all Christ-centered. And it's totally okay to allow yourself to be motivated by those rewards. If you want to go deeper on this subject, I would encourage you to get my book, Salvation and Discipleship, Is There a Difference? Also, stop in to simplybelief.com slash grow and get signed up for this Bible study to get notifications. We also have other Bible study materials that I think will really help you out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in episode 16.